Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to understand how we have to call uh, various kinds of library in Python. So I would like to first of all describe uh, these kind of libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn. Uh, these kind of libraries we have to use in uh, our future sessions uh, related to statistical analysis. So NumPy basically stands for numerical library in Python. You can see here first three words numerical, num, pi, Python. So that is why we are calling it this library is NumPy and NumPy stands for numerical library in Python for all calculations in Python. Pandas. Pandas stands for panel data for data analysis. So you can see here panel, PA, panel, PAN, panel data analysis stands for panel data analysis. Uh, for and then is matplotlib. Matplotlib is basically for visualization, various kind of graphs, curves we have to plot in through with the help of the matplotlib. And Seaborn, a uh, statistical visualization tool on top of matplotlib. Uh, first of all, we have to call Seaborn and then after that matplotlib. Then it's stats model, a library with advanced statistical functions. And uh, SCI Pi, right? Advanced scientific computing functions like linear algebra, image processing, optimization, etc. We will perform with the help of this library. Then SCI Kit Learn, that is, we are going to use machine learning library for Python. So basically, my main focus on NumPy, Pandas. Matplotlib and Seaborn. I'm going to use both these four libraries for statistical analysis. So first of all, how you have to use this library, let me, I would like to show you how we have to use this library. Import, first of all, you have to open our, I had like uh, charts, uh, by the name of the charts, I had uh, created this new uh, file. And here is, here is a new notebook. And here is, you can see here, import NumPy as NP. So NumPy as M NP means we are not writing again and again NumPy, that is a bigger name. So we will use short form NP. Then we had used, we are going to use import pandas as PD and import matplotlib.pyplot as PL, right? And percentage matplotlib in line. So first of all, what we have to do, we are going to run all those things. Then after that, I'm going to show you how you have to perform central tendency. Central tendency means we are talking about mean, median, and mode. So how we will run mean, median, and mode, let's say I had created there is a one variable and uh, this variable we can see here me equal to np np as you have seen import numpy as because we are going to use numpy library and np is, is the short form dot random dot rend int 8 16 10 that means it is a similar thing that we are using in excel in excel suppose we want to generate some random numbers so we are going to use this function so here is the syntax we are going to use random dot rand int so i need 18 minimum 8 minimum 16 maximum and how many numbers i want to generate 10 right and uh, then after that, I am going to, first of all, I'm going to run this. Then after that, I'm going to run this, right? If suppose you are not using this function, print M M E, right? Simply you want to run. So it will give you output like this. Array 9, 8, 8, 10, 12, 13, 8, 15, 8, right? But random number, it's keep on changing. So don't worry about this print 
and I'm going to use ME. So what will give you output? What is the difference? I just want to show you that this, this would be like this. ME that is with array and this one is the print ME 9, 12, 11. These are the random numbers has been created. Now we are we want to know what is the mean value of this data set. So I am going to use this function, the syntax np dot mean, and here is within the bracket me, right? Because this is my variable name. I had put it, I had stored all these values in this variable and simply I'm going to run. You can see here, this is my mean value 11.8, right? Uh, this one is the, we have to summation of these values divided by total number. So this is 11.8. Now I want to know what is the median of this particular data set. So simply I am going to use NP dot, here is median and within the brackets, round brackets, we are going to use this variable name and I'm going to run this. So you can see here 11 is the median value for this particular data set. Now I am coming to the mode, but uh, unfortunately mode is that is not available in this Jupyter. So for this purpose notebook, and uh, we are going to use uh, from statistics import mode, right? I will run this statement. And after that, I would run this mode me. So mode is 11. Mode, you understand how many, that number that is a maximum fre frequency of that particular number. So 11 is one, two, three, three times and 10 is only twice, right? One, two, three, right? That means mode is 11. So that's all for the day. I'm sure a few more statistical analysis we will conduct. We will, I will show you in my next video. Thank you so much. Keep watching.